Hello and welcome to the latest Live Fit Now vlog. Um, so today I thought I kind of go back to the beginning. I think people often want to slash like to know why someone does what they do. So I thought it would be really nice just to try and have a think about and do a brief summary of why it is that I do personal training uh, and why it is I do coaching and this YouTube channel. So I have to say I was not a sporty kid at school at all. That wasn't my thing. I used to like swimming when I was young, um, but I would say I was more academic than anything. Um, so I got through school, went on to university, did history and law, came out with a law degree. But it was during this time um, that I realized I needed to start doing something. So I joined a local gym um, and started by just promising myself, right, I'm gonna go three times a week, I'm gonna make the most of this gym membership and just start doing more because, you know, between leaving school uh, and, and a couple of years after that, I did really nothing at all. So um, I realized this was something that I needed to address. Um, this was particularly evident because um, I was diagnosed with indeterminate colitis when I was um, in my A-level year. So I was sick during my A-level year, which wasn't wasn't great, but what it then uh, led me to do is realize how much I needed to prioritize my health. Um, so it really changed my path completely. So as I say, I joined the local gym um, and to be honest, I never looked back. So I started going three times a week, like I promised myself, um, but I continued with the fantastic support of the people that work there, which made a huge difference. Um, I think the fact that I joined an independent gym um, changed my whole um, experience. I'm not convinced that if I had gone to um, sort of a big health club that I would have ended up in the same position that I am now. Uh, so, joined the gym, started going, started trying out classes, was doing sort of a mixture of cardio with a little bit of weights at the end, so it was all completely new to me. I had never been in a gym before, um, so it was lots of new experience, uh, lots of new challenges, and I, I fell in love with it, basically. So I went, I started by going, as I say, three times a week, and then I literally just kept building it up until I was going literally every single day. I was working in and around my studies and um, other work that I had to do, but I absolutely loved it. And slowly but surely, I was coming to the end of my degree and realizing that that really wasn't what I wanted to, to do going forward. So I made the, the leap um, to finish my degree, but then uh, go on and study for my uh, gym level two, and then going on to do my um, personal tra training level three. Um, and I also did my uh, swimming teacher qualifications all sort of during this, this period of time. So it was a complete shift. I was getting lots of experience. I was working with people. Um, and very quickly after doing my level two, um, I was fortunate to get some shifts at the very same gym that I started at. So it was a massive transition. Um, I went from doing literally no exercise at all um, to doing as much as I could really um, and just trying everything and enjoying myself immensely. And it was such a change in every way. I really wanted to help people. I think that was the first reason that I kind of shifted across to do this a career path because I was someone who didn't consider myself sporty um, and wouldn't have envisaged myself liking the gym or certainly not wanting to go on um, and do it for, for the long term. And I had the absolute opposite experience because you know, this was something completely new. Um, I hadn't experienced it before um, and I really enjoyed it. I liked the pursuit um, and I really wanted to pass on that enthusiasm and passion that I I got for it onto other people um, and help people feel you know more uh, confident within themselves, just trying something new and, and getting an experience and a feeling that they haven't before, hopefully feeling stronger um, and becoming more confident because I think that is so, so important because you can find yourself doing so much more in every aspect of your life when you get this. Um, so. My career really developed from that. I got lots of experience. I just took on whatever I could. I love teaching uh, kids swimming because it was the whole new experience. Um, and then was just continuing to develop the gym side basically. And as much as I went through the qualifications, they are fine, but I cannot 
rate highly enough experience because I have learned so much from every single one of my clients um, and working with different instructors and uh, training in different ways myself. Um, you know, my, my own training has evolved over the years and I found ways that firstly work best for me. I have found uh, different techniques and approaches that work for different people um, and realized really just how important it is to adapt to the individual. Some people want to go really hardcore, which can get fantastic and very quick results. And some people actually just need to approach it from a broader spectrum, much more holistically, making changes to their lifestyle. Um, and to be honest, this is the most effective I've found for most people that I work with. Um, they want to be overall healthier. They want to look different. They want to feel different. They want to have more confidence. They want to be stronger. They want to build themselves a foundation so that their bodies can support them. Um, and often, these things come together to realizing that actually it isn't one thing alone that gets you where you want to be. Um, it starts sort of interlocking everything together. Um, so it is a matter of looking at the broader, the broader cross section of, of your life and how you can approach things differently. Um, so I guess that was a little bit of a whirlwind uh, summary of why I got into it, but Ultimately, I really wanted to be able to help people. I wanted people to have the opportunity that I did um, in order to try something new and find something they actually enjoy. Because the amount of people that say, oh, I hate exercise, I don't like doing this, I don't like doing that, they may still be true, but actually sometimes you just need to try something completely different that gives you a different feeling, that gives you a different outcome. Um, and sometimes it's, a, it's finding actually what it is you need to do to get you where you want to be because sometimes the media can be extremely confusing so people might have the idea of x y and z getting them to where they want to be uh, in fact what they need to do is a b and c um, so it's just trying to keep it simple bring it into lifestyle and again the reason i've tried to develop this channel is so that i can discuss different topics with you um, just give you some general concepts, ideas, thoughts, things that you are able to um, potentially implement into your own life and hopefully make some changes for the better. Or perhaps in a more positive way, you're seeing the things you're already doing well because I think um, people are very good at beating themselves up about everything they're not doing perfectly when in fact they should be seeing right actually I'm doing this this and this really well I'm making some good choices but maybe if I were to do this and this differently I would see quite a different outcome so it is trying to get that balance between um, looking at things positively uh, taking positive action not beating yourself up um, because that really is such a negative cycle to get yourself into. Um, set yourself high standards by all means because that will make you achieve more. Um, but don't continuously compare yourself to others. It really is about trying to achieve what you can to your best potential. Um, so don't forget to look at the improvement you've made. Don't forget to look how far you've come. And just keep one eye on, on, on the goal that you want to work towards because if I were to say in the beginning what I thought I was going to be doing, just go three times a week to the gym, just to you know, be doing something, get a little bit fitter, get a little bit healthier, to it being my, my career path and hopefully helping and encouraging other people to, um, to make changes to their lives. Because like I said before, one of the reasons I got into it in the first place was because I was unwell uh, during my A-level year. And it puts this perspective on things that you absolutely need to look after yourself because if you do not have your health, all the other things become much less important because you can't enjoy life if you are unwell. So try and always remember that you just want to try and be a little bit fitter, a little bit healthier. Give yourself the foundation that hopefully you will stay well um, for as long as possible. And if you would like to ask any questions, please do comment below. Um, 
if you have any other sort of areas you'd like me to discuss again just get in touch with me um, I'd be so grateful if you were to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I have lots more content that I want to be adding and I will be looking at all different areas of lifestyle uh, mindset nutrition exercise there's lots of things to discuss so please do subscribe so you don't miss out Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.